once you have merit plan merit plan created you need to actually rolling out uh, A rollout merit plan is nothing but when you create a new compensation plan it is necessary that you know you enroll that eligible employees into the plan even though if an employee may be ineligible for any other plan but uh, you know if you are actually rolling out that you know compensation plan that you have created or uh, the eligibility rule that you have created which will specify that employee should be eligible for a specific plan where you know a transaction is required to assign the employee to the plan actually and when you're actually rolling out um, this compensation plans to the employee um, there is a task in workday called a rollout compensation plan to employees task we have in workday which will actually allow you to add the compensation plan uh, covering you know bonus plan alliance plan to the employee compensation so the process uses you know the existing um, um, uh, we have a request compensation pro business process actually that will use this process uh, since you know it is automatically generated uh, without any approvals so we have certain criteria like step-by-step um, -step process um, um, first step called um, the create uh, comp plans uh, eligibility rule and um, rolling out in a compensation to employees once you define a compensation merit plan and you define eligibility rule you'll be rolling out um, this merit plan to def eligible employees And once you uh, ro roll out in the merit process, you know, you'll be running in you know, a view compensation. Um, there's a process you know, where you can view uh, the whatever you, know, you have rolled out to employees. You know, there is an option to view whatever you have rolled out. <coughs> view rolled out um, compensation process that you have made in the first step. Process. And finally, um, just check, you know, if your employees are excluded or included, um, you can um, validate whatever, you know, based on the eligibility rule that you have defined, uh, those employees got initiated for the merit process. For the, you know, the, uh, merit plan, whatever you have defined, that should have got initiated to them. Validate um, the initiation of merit plan to the employees. of merit plan to the employees based on the eligibility rule so if you are aware of these steps i think you know you should be able to manage uh, the initiation of merit process and uh, rolling out them and you know validating uh, them you know you can um, you can actually perform those activities so which we have created now eligibility rule will be initiating the process now based on the eligibility rule so these are all the plans you know which are part of uh, rolling out the merit plans so once you create the merit plans you'll be performing all these activities to uh, initiate the process to the employees actually okay so now let me get into the tenant and perform these steps what i was talking about so we actually created merit plan supervisor organization based let me select this one okay and now i'll be actually initiating the merit process 
uh, to perform that activity when i say initiate is nothing but rolling out uh, on the plants to the employees okay there is a task called if you are uh, part of you know compensation team you will be getting an option called uh, rollout compensation compensation plans to employees so you need to actually take this one and initiate the process once you initiate this one you'll be coming to this view compensation plan to rollout process i'll be taking this one Basically, you know, we'll be selecting um, the plan assignment as a kind of uh, a thing for uh, this thing because we are actually initiating plan, right? We are actually assigning merit plan to the team members. So that's why, you know, we select a plan assignments. And uh, uh, compensation plans. So we have created a um, few plans earlier. Let me get into the tenant and see what we have created um, last time when we created compensation plan. I'll be selecting those plans. So for that, I think I need to get into compensation package, view compensation package. I don't want to again, you know, create them. I'll just take um, the one that I've created last time when we were discussing about a regular compensation, view compensation package. I think let's take this one compensation package. We'll take compensation. I'm not sure. is the name that we have given last time compensation package Organization uh, hmm. I'm just you know trying to find the plan that I've created um, in our last session so that you know, I should be able to Let's take those plans actually. So, rule usage, compensation eligibility rule. Okay, and these are the this is the package that we've taken. These are the plans. I'm taking this one. Compensation plan. Okay. So now the moment I click on OK, 
this will actually initiate um, uh, the merit process actually before that i'll be selecting the supervisor organization that i've given mm. eligibility rule that i've created right i'll be actually taking this eligibility rule which i have created for merit plan so that members of this eligibility rule will be initiated with the compensation process okay so now the moment i click on okay the compensation plan rollout will be initiated to the employees of this eligibility rule whoever in a part of this eligibility rule will get initiated that's how we know, you typically assign the compensation process um, to employees so it will take few seconds to complete okay so the the process that we initiated is completed and now we know we need to actually view the one that we have actually initiated there is a task called view compensation all these things you know you'll be able to perform when you have a defined security actually you're following with it yes yes i'm following but as so a admin, if you get admin access you can anyway perform this right yes yeah basically comp administrator will be having all this access even in a partner auditor will also have sys admin will also have right which admin sys, sys admin system admin system administrator will not be provided to everyone system administrator you know pe person who actually assigns the required access to different people system, yeah, correct, correct. Security, we, we call it as a system administrator will not have this access will not have system administrator yeah system administrator is uh, if they are assigned with compensation administrator they will be able to but what mm -hmm. system admin system administrator is nothing but the security administrator okay, okay. so um, security administrator will have permissions to assign security to any of the employee or to control any of the security that is happening in work tenant so that permissions you know sec um, system uh, security configurator will be having so what security administrator will be doing you will be reaching out to security administrator that i am part of compensation team i don't have access to initiate the merit process i need to have that process so the security mm -hmm. configurator will be reviewing your access and uh, will be checking the, the you know the, your uh, business team that you know this access this access is intended for this employee will be performing that kind of analysis once he gets approval from business that you know you need uh, this access to initiate the manage process he'll be assigning all the re required permissions for you for initiating this thing mm -hmm. okay and one more thing i mean there are many tasks right so is there a repository where all the tasks and report names are there um those tasks right probably i'll list in uh, i'll list out in, there are only two tasks actually one you'll be creating plan and once you create a plan you'll be defining an eligibility rule these are in you know, outside of initiation once mm -hmm. you have these two ready you'll be initiating the process you'll be collecting those uh, plans and eligibility rules i'll be giving that in document i'll be uh, writing those steps you know in the document okay. so basically you'll be initiating the rollout process once you initiate the rollout process you'll be viewing what you have rolled out that's it so now we know we have actually we're actually seeing this one i think i process so i think i what is the name that i have given requesting rollout task for merit plan yeah So I have this one. I'll be viewing whoever has got um, the you know uh, merit plans, whatever you know we have assigned. Which employee has got um, those kind of um, 
plan assignments will be viewing here actually so once you initiate this thing you will be actually coming here and you will be viewing whoever uh, you know has been assigned with that merit plan you will be actually viewing here let's say you have rolled out to entire organization now and as part of annual review process um, will be actually viewing here so you see here uh, once the compensation process has been um, initiated and uh, when you're actually viewing you'll be seeing here employees receiving this compensation plan so whatever eligibility rule that we have defined you know is listed with one employee and that employee will be getting this compensation plan actually Mm -hmm. So Anthony Robert will be getting this compensation plan and also if there are any pending transactions with the employee This will not be assigned and those employees will be actually will be showing up here Employees not receiving compensation plan those employees. Let's say employees uh, compensation proposed compensation is in progress Okay, since the compensation is not finalized for that employee when you're actually initiating this merit plan here, this plan will not be assigned to the template because it is actually um, the reason is um, still the proposed compensation uh, assignment is in progress for that employee. That is the reason why you are not able to see those employees. The system will show actually if there are around three to four members uh, who are actually uh, not get not receiving this compensation because you know the other process in progress. This will show all those four employees and the reason for why it is not assigning a, a compensation plan. It will show you the reason. Actually actually but for all the receiving employees it will be showing uh, all the receiving employees details here like how you know you're seeing here it will be showing all those informations here okay so this is how you know you'll be actually initiating merit process and um, you'll be running the process actually once you create the merit plan you'll be picking up the merit plan and you'll be configuring the eligibility rule for whom you wanted to initiate and then you know you'll be uh, seeing uh, how you can uh, uh, you know validate um, whether this has been assigned or not you know you'll be validating this one mm -hmm. in okay. view in view compensation um, rollout okay. process you'll be actually validating so I'll be actually giving those tasks in the document for you. So basically, we have performed. So these are the steps that we have performed. We have created merit plan, created eligibility rule, rolling out the employee process to eligible employees through. With the task called. So once you roll out with this task, you'll be actually viewing with view 